of after the show. Um, tonight's a very special night, ladies and gentlemen, because if you've been enjoying the merriment you've seen on stage, you will have a chance to join us. That's right. After tonight's show, after tonight's last group, we have a chance to go to the bar, grab a fresh drink, come back in here for the only Wilmington-centered improv jam in Wilmington. That sounds really fun. Yeah, it is yeah. super fun. Which means you guys can get on stage with us, and we'll play games together, and we'll do scenes together, and it's super fun. So if you ever want to try improv, now's your chance. We do have a sign-up sheet out there by the bar, so if you run to go get a drink, you come back. And yes, what? The ticket booth. I'm, I'm just getting this in, that it's actually at the ticket booth, <laughs> uh, which is located near the bar. Daisy told me, I just want to make you look stupid. Nice <laughs> <laughs> try. I don't need any help for that, Sean. Great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you're having a good time. We have one more group for you this evening. Oh, oh, it's, it's a great group. Next, we have a fantastic long-form troupe. Yes, we do. Wilmington's very own Daredevil's oldest, Knievel! <laughs> Tonight, uh, we're going to need one audience volunteer to help us out for this next part. What's that? I hear it right here. Remember, if you volunteer somebody else, you're actually volunteering yourself. That's right! So I hear it right here. What's your name? Yes. Volunteer somebody else, volunteer yourself. So you're going to join someone's stage. Give it up for the audience! Spoken rule if you volunteer somebody else, you're really volunteering yourself. <laughs> you know what you could do is just pretend to be your friend and give us answers that are based on. Oh, uh, okay, I can do that. Or, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chad. Uh, or you can reveal something about yourself. That you yeah, just, just be real, real. just be honest. Yeah, I always just want to be so it's going to be very famous. Dakota, um, how are you feeling tonight? You doing well? I'm kind of like drunk almost. Okay, almost a little drunk. Great, kind of almost drunk. How many people here are almost a little drunk? <laughs> Beautiful. Not enough. Dakota, where are you from originally? Are you, are you a Wilmingtonian? No, I'm not. I'm from oh. Winston-Salem. Winston-Salem. Very cool. Um, what? Um, it's not very cool. It's not very cool? No, nothing well, happens there. No, wait, nothing happens there? Nothing. How does it... Texas people live there. Okay, is that true? Yeah. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Texas Pete was created in Winston-Salem. Very yeah. cool. Um, you say nothing happens there. Did you go to high school there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing ever happened in those four years you were in high school? Nope. Nothing. Not <laughs> that I remember, at least. <laughs> Why don't you remember any of high school? She's uh, almost the middle of the She's almost the middle of the Pretty much. <laughs> 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 what brought you here to Wilmington? Uh, school. What kind of school? UNCW school. And what, what attracted you to UNCW? What takes, what takes a bright and shining star of Winston-Salem and lets them pack up their bags Because and I went from nothing to like a little bit better, a little bit like less nothing. A little bit a little less nothing? <laughs> yeah, like a little like less nothing, like it was like a little bit more of something. <laughs> okay. That, that, is, that is on our sign in town. Welcome to Wilmington, it's a little more something. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And what do you do here? Are you still in school? No, I'm not. Great, great choice. Uh, when, uh, which one of the which one of the three, four, eight schools did you go to while you were here? UNCW, I said that. Great. Okay, great. I was I wasn't listening. What are you, what are you studying at UNCW? Oh, I graduated. I work at a bank now. Oh, cool. Yeah. No. Whoa, that's so fun. What's it like to be surrounded by millions and millions? Dollars. Yeah, we assume you work we in the vault. We don't have that much money. To you don't? <laughs> okay, what kind of bank is it? A like a credit union? Bank. <laughs> I don't want to put my uh, bank's name yeah, on Yeah, no, 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 you're not saying. I'm um, being recorded right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. No, you work in the financial sector. Yes, that's that. it. Okay, great. Awesome. Have you always been a fan of money? or? <laughs> I mean, 
Well, I'm not a capitalist per se, but money. Are you an American? <laughs> I was born here. I, like a big, like a... Great. Um, so, what did you study in school, and what do you hope to do uh, after your bank, your short term uh, in finance? I studied English, and I hope to leave Wilmington. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Myrtle Beach has a little more than Wilmington. <laughs> Okay, is that something you're interested in doing? Like going south, maybe north, west? Just like away in this direction. You just don't give yeah. a shit. You're yeah. just like anywhere Dakota, over here. Yes. I'm, I'm about to give you five hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? I. I don't know. All right, I'm taking Seattle. the money back. I'm gonna go to Seattle. Seattle. Wow. Yeah. What's in Seattle? Uh, the furthest place from Wilmington. <laughs> you're calling you're, you're a little drunk now. Just a smidge. Just a, just a smidge. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had a night where you were so drunk it was breaking? <laughs> Too many. Too many? What's, what's the most memorable night and what happened? Memorable or like not memorable? Well, <laughs> memorable so we can hear the story. So, what was the craziest night that you remember? What if you... it was the story I was told that I did? Well, I'd like to hear that too. I fell in the bushes outside of a bar. And that's it? I was found in the bushes outside of a bar. <laughs> Which bar? Coglins. Coglins. Oh, yeah. 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 Is, is our now. Um, is that a regular occurrence? No, 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 not since that situation. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> are you are you single? Are you dating right now? Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid question, Chad. You fucking know. I'm just gonna take this ring off real quick. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, like, uh, what's the worst date you've ever been on? Can you tell us that story? Um. I mean, Where that people guy. were asking questions about me while I was like underneath a strobe light. Oh, so, you, so you have been arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, Dakota, I think that's a, a one last question. If you, um, let's say, if if you had a motto that you lived your life by, a tenet, okay. a dogma. Okay. What would that be? I guess you can sleep when you're dead. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Go right to the bar. Don't even sit down and watch the show. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy our improvisations. Yeah. 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 Rough weekend. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, it's it's Tuesday. We didn't see you here yesterday. I'm assuming you had a rough. Are you still drunk? <laughs> I'm always a little bit drunk, but it doesn't count because it's 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 work time. So. <laughs> Great. Uh, I well, keep, um, I keep my bottle of whiskey up there. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I won't. I, I mean, I, I do own this establishment. Shut up. I won't. John, don't, don't talk about how you're the boss again. I don't like that. Uh, you're right. I don't want to talk down to my employees. No, because it's International Women's Day and I don't want it. That's no <laughs> USA, you respect all women. We do. Uh, I am, you... and thank you. Good night. Okay. <laughs> it's 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 nine thirty a.m. <laughs> Toby, Toby, what? Toby. What? Just because I'm shooting up? It's International Custodians Day. Okay. You're right. Well, I'm going to shoot up. I'm going to shoot up. Okay? You're right. You know you. I, I, I'm going to have to admit something. I just want to chase a little bit of the dragon. Not the whole dragon, just I, a little bit. I respect it. Here at John's Mattresses USA, I, I understand that all employees have their own things and they are important. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what today is, right? Is it is it is it May the fourth? <laughs> Because you just put out a lightsaber. Yeah, where's yours? Go. Put the put it down. Put your coffee down. Fool mm. me. You know what? A staff meeting. <laughs> yep. Hi. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, hey everyone. Just a heads up. Uh, John's mattresses USA is going under. I filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> Uh, I'm the only one who seems to work here. You show too little motivation in finding those rentals. Uh, okay, I am. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna pull this rope over here. We're still getting paid this way. What? Who's out of where this way? Oh, hey, Karen. Hey, Brian. I'm Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Deposit as usual. Oh, look at you coming in early. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Big, how's how's big weekend? Great weekend. Okay, great. Weekend. great. Let, me, let me put down my crochet. Yeah, if you don't mind. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, how are uh, how's the little boys? The boys. Uh, I heard they had a big soccer game. Oh, they, they did. did. Yeah. Oh, the twins. Okay, yeah. cab in goal, clean sheet. You know what that means? It means he didn't score a goal. The other team never scored a goal on him. Wow. He's like, they call him the octopus. Okay? Because he has, it's like, well, because he has the extra arm. <laughs> um, but Tony, Tony scored four goals. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't know if you follow soccer, but they usually don't score any. <laughs> yeah, you, you, Tony got an hour. Goal. I'm out by ten minutes. Like it's to... because he has a third leg. <laughs> The other parents seem to look down on that and say he's got an unfair advantage. They kind of ostracize the two boys as some kind of freaks of nature, but I don't think so. They're just healthy boys. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and do the deposit. Yeah, you know, do the deposit. it just makes me uncomfortable. It, it, what about my children? I, I, I wanted to start a friendly conversation, but yeah, when you really go into detail about their extra limbs and I feel uh, inadequate, yes. <laughs> it's understandable. That's what, that's what uh, my husband and I think is the big issue that no one's talking about. People are just jealous that they don't have extra arms and legs. Wow. You, well, you paid for the surgery with my deposits, so, you know, it's not like a natural occurrence, by the way. You, you've gone the extra mile to enhance your children with extra limbs and great soccer. And now you're floating it like you're, you know, like you created some beautiful children. They're monsters! Running around the soccer field with extra arms and legs. I, I'm so sorry, Karen. I, I've been Look at this it. picture of Cam! Oh, God. Look at him! And look at Tony! Oh, look at him, yeah. These are monsters to you? With their beautiful green and yellow eyes? And red? No one has red eyes. Oh. My cat's the only one. Ooh, Karen. Uh, two six-year-old twins died in a bus accident. I think we get their arms. <laughs> Is that this morning's paper? I'm going to make a call. <laughs> call that friend of yours. Always comes in. If we can get our boys up to eight limbs, I think they'll be super hey, come Okay, okay, come on. Let's just get four. Let's get an even number, and then we'll think about... Well, it's a yeah, huge number. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. My husband yeah. is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sunny D. You want some Sunny D, Cal? Okay, come on in here. I got Sunny D for you. Fill up the camel back so you can have all the sunny D you want. What? I went to work early. I came in early. I'm trying to like re. I need to figure out my life. I, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I gotta get out of here. Like out of out of the. Out of out of this Applebee's or like are you going somewhere else? Jessica, somewhere else? I need to get like so far away from I need to go to like Kansas City, okay? I need to get away. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna leave Staten Island to go to Kansas City? Yeah, this is the farthest place I can get from right oh here, and that's like where I need to that be. That is like the farthest place away from here. I know. Oh my God. I know. So that was like where my mind went. I was like, where do I go? Where's the farthest place from this Applebee's in fucking Staten Island to Kansas City? Like, where I gotta go? I know, I know. I know that one. Right. <laughs> Cynthia, Lisa, yeah. special yeah. tonight is a chicken. <laughs> Chicken teriyaki fingers. Again? <laughs> Why don't you do a different special? Chicken, we'll do fucking, fucking, okay. We'll do a chicken, chicken teriyaki fingers salad. Fuck that. Oh, you're oh, very oh, 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 yeah. I don't think I'm regretting it. I will. Wait, but if we like, we could like remote work from like, like anywhere. It doesn't have to be an Apple Buzz, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> take our desktop computer somewhere else. Like, we could like take this. To you have the city. Oh my god, can I go with you? Play. Oh my god. I don't want to go alone. Yeah, that's like in Kansas, right? Yeah, it's Oh my city. god, beautiful. We're all food to bed. Oh my god, should we like farm? Oh my god, I feel like Kansas City is farmland. Totally. What if we did something totally oh my wild god. and different? Why? And like, Come to Kansas City. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Kansas City. What you got there in that uh, doggy bag? Oh, <laughs> well, we brought in some chicken tacos yeah. and some apple bags. Yeah, it's like five days off. Yeah. I'm sorry, what did you say? Chicken what? Now? Chicken tacos from the apple bags. Chicken. Chicken tacos from the apple bags. You're, you're gonna have to. Financial aid, they would have been fine. You just went around and massaged your way to the 
I can't be a mayor's wife. With you, you've touched the whole city with your fucking put my sex no. hands. <laughs> These hands help. Hey, me. there's this future mayor. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met her. Hey, thank you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wake Forest News. My name is Chip Newsley. <laughs> Top stories tonight, nothing. <laughs> Good night, and that's the news. <laughs> uh, Chip, this is Doug in the control room. You didn't go to sports or weather. Your choice is one you want to hit first. Let's go to sports. We've got uh, we got uh, McGee Magulu <laughs> with sports. All right, McGee, you're on. Outside sports news, um, no news. Great. <laughs> and with our weather report, let's go to Stormy Cloud Fucker. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> And finally, let's go to the one person who's drunk in this town, Beth. <laughs> Anything happening with the drunks, Beth? <clears throat> I, was, I was just sleeping. Great. Uh, stay tuned for an old episode of Math. Good night. <laughs> Honey, have you seen the double-A batteries? The double-A batteries. Yeah, none of my flashlights work, okay? And Beth says nothing's gonna happen. Double-A batteries. We gotta get prepped, okay? Um, they're where you left them, in the fridge. Did what the fuck them? kind of riddle is that? They're where I left they're them. They're where you left them. I don't know where I left them, honey. You always leave them in the fridge. You're like, they'll stay fresh in the fridge. Remember? In the way back. Behind the bread. You're so smart. I know. That's why you marry me. <laughs> You're welcome. Help oh, me. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Did you? Uh, um. Somebody said help me. Yeah. I, I. 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 also heard that. You have somebody in the fridge. Um. Behind the bread. So. Yeah. Um, I do, I do, I do have someone in the fridge um, behind the bread, and I meant to tell you this last night, um, but I thought They've been in there for more than, like, a day? Yeah, well, it's been, it's, like, three days, okay, and I think you can keep someone in there for, like, at least five before, like, anything really bad happens. Um, Obviously, they're talking to five, right? They're okay. Um, so, yeah, somebody came to the door, and they were like, hey, do you want to buy solar candles? And I was like, no. (laughs) So, I was like, come on in, and I made them coffee, and then they still wouldn't leave, because I made them coffee. And then I was like, just come here, and they went in the fridge. Wait, 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 whoa! Whoa! (laughs) I... You skip... I can't... Uh Uh, I'm gonna answer the door. that's a good idea, you should do that, because... Okay. Hi, yes, hello. Welcome hello, to the Millers. Sir. Hello, sir. I'm from a uh, uh, new solar panel uh, company. We have, or we're missing a salesman <laughs> named Roger. Uh, I don't know if maybe he had come. He, he was scheduled to go to this neighborhood. You seem to be hiding something. Would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? Yeah, just a <laughs> minute. My God, I've been driving all day. I would love to come in for some coffee. Wow, driving in oh a car? Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. It's a solar car. <laughs> a solar car? I'm all about the sun. Wow. I'm all about the sun. In yeah. fact, I can tell you all about the sun. <laughs> Help us understand yeah. how solar works and how we can get it to you know, work for us. Yeah, it's help funny. us help you. Well, great. So solar panel is a wonderful thing. If you Don't put solar panels sugar. on the south side of your Why would I put sugar in a coffee pot? That's fucking ridiculous. Is that how you make coffee? Yeah. You put sugar in the coffee yeah, pot? Yeah, it's better because it's better and sweet. I haven't even brewed the coffee yet. I'm you know, sorry, my wife and I are in a real sensitive area right now. Okay? I understand. He couldn't find the batteries. He couldn't find them. No, no, I was about to say it sounds like someone who couldn't find batteries. Yeah. You know when you never need batteries? Solar power. <laughs> Check the fridge! Check the motherfucking fridge! Are you saying check the fridge? Yeah. I am saying check the fridge. We 
because it runs off of conventional energy. You know, we'd I love mean, to learn how to convert that into an old, solar power. An old, uh, an old Frigidaire like this with the old classic. Yeah. You know, we can hook this up to some solar panels real easy. You some know what? what I love about these old... <laughs> some what? Solar panels. <laughs> solar panels. <laughs> solar panels. That sounds legit. That's the co good. the good. coffee will be ready in four and a half minutes. Great. You know what I like about these old fridges? What's that? You can fit a human body in there. I mean, I, I was just there. telling my wife that. That's so funny that you should say that. And she turned to me and said, "No, dear, you could fit two human bodies in there." <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Let me just open it up and see what you got there, yeah. because I can better assess what how much solar power you would need. Okay. That's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. Okay. in these bushes long enough, the drunk people are going to fall in them. <laughs> I love this. And I love this. all of their stuff because I'll be so drunk. Yeah, and then you keep looking at the I'm doing that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready, ready. Okay, okay. So, oh, my God. Perfect. Ah, this one. Oh, yes. check your pockets. Well, this is iPhone. Nice. Okay. Oh, 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 Society we call ourselves the, <coughs> the big bushers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the BBs. The BBs. Yeah. You know, my uh, readers of the Washington Post are very interested in this story. And so happy that a drunk, who used to be a drunk reporter at Wake Forest News, <laughs> has finally got her shit together and can talk about all the things that the city drunk. Excuse me, oh, hold on. I I don't have my shit that scared. <laughs> I mean, who does, right, Pat? They're kicking in right now, actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I'm only six years old. What? <laughs> A big round of applause for Dakota. <laughs> the fearless as we get on stage. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to break for a few minutes, and then we're going to start the improv jam. So if anybody wants to stick around to join us or just to watch and have a good time, uh, please do. Uh, again, uh, we do classes, and we have lots of fun comedy events going on all around town. Uh, so check out daredevilimprov.com and follow us on the show. So socials? Socials. Socials. Let's figure that out. Uh, cool. Anything I left out? No, we did the birthday. At the end of the month, we have a special Moms Night event here. Oh, yeah, March 29th. The last Wednesday. Moms So all the moms in the crowd or anybody that knows moms or has moms. Or anybody who wants to meet a drunk mom, that's the night to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, great. Ladies and gentlemen, um, great. We will see you next Wednesday. Um, if you like me, so I'll tell your friends. If you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. Chelsea, hit the lights! Yeah. Oh, my God.